welcome to another priceless video. The Cream Cats TV. Okay, the video that you're about to see is one of many that I've done of propaganda and military. So after you've seen this one, please don't forget to check out my others and to rate them. And please click on that subscribe icon. Hello, amazing viewers. I'm glad you made it back. Here is another fantastic set of cards. Over 70 years old. Wow! This card series is one of just a handful that was issued during World War II. Remember, here in the UK, we had severe paper rationing during the war years, which meant that card and paper were very scarce. This card set is a classic piece of Second World War propaganda. Propaganda became a dirty word during World War I, the First World War, uh, because it was heavily abused by the ruling elite. If you want to see some examples of World War I propaganda and the bold emotional appeals that the rulers of that time made, please check out my video of recruitment posters. Cigarette cards featuring, featuring recruitment posters at that time. The soldiers in World War I were mostly volunteers, except, of course, towards the end, where so many people were dying, they were desperate for new men. Anyway, uh, whereas conscription was widely used in World War II, now, this difference is reflected in the propaganda. Whilst World War I posters tended to focus, obviously, heavily on recruitment, World War II propaganda seems to concentrate more on the home front, as in this card set, titled It All Depends On Me. You see, the government wanted to make everyone, everybody feel inclusive, um, to show them that they all had a role to play in blasting the hopes of Hitler, even if they weren't fighting on the front line. Not everyone be could become a soldier, on the front line. Some people were too old, infirm, or like my grandfather, uh, some people held important key jobs. Whilst my great uncles were sent to fight in Europe and North Africa, my grandfather continued to build railway engines and carriages on the home front. Many of the cards in this set are devoted to those key occupations. On the backs you'll find descriptions for each of the occupations and the fronts feature related pictures and interesting rhymes. Such as this one uh, that says, Here's to the worker who takes no fee, who drives or cooks or is AERP, who helps in our hospitals, clubs or canteens and keeps the services full of beans. And this is one for a policeman. Day and nights, the man in blue stands on guard over me and you, blitz or no blitz. He's on his beat, burglars or bombs, he's out to defeat. And here's a particularly interesting one, uh, considering this is uh, propaganda. Though the bombs are falling, uh, the pressy throb, the newspaper man, sorry, the newspaper men get on with their job, air raids or not, the papers get through and bring true news to me and you. I think many, body, many people would question <laughs> because um, it's not always in the best interest for the government and for the press to, to release uh, the facts because they could uh, fall into the hands of the enemy who could use the facts against us. And also another interesting thing is uh, the Germans were referred to as the Hun in the First World War, but it looks as though uh, they were in this war as well, because it says, uh, with a full day's job to help beat the Hun, uh, which is a bit of a derog derogatory uh, name for the uh, Germans, a little bit racist, which is a bit uh, ironic for the uh, Second World War. Okay, great set of cards. Please don't forget to uh, check out my other military-related uh, card set videos. 
I've done um, lots of vids on World War One propaganda and a whole host of other subjects. Thanks for watching and bye for now. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com.